Hey, this is The Daily Overpass. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today I want to talk about my favorite back-end cloud infrastructures. Okay, so today I want to answer a question that came in on episode 529 from Dennis Person who says, Hey Eric, I never see you talk about backend solutions. Which techniques do you use there? Do you use any BAAS or any other AAS solutions? Are there any differences in which techniques you're using when developing your own apps and for the apps you develop and sell to your customers? Good question, Dennis. I don't talk a lot about backend solutions, but I do think about it a lot. Uh, my preference is always to use Node.js and MongoDB as a backend, or if we're using Firebase, to use the cloud functions and Firebase real-time database, but I find those to be very similar, right? And sometimes we have to change that a little bit. Sometimes we'll use MySQL if, if the data has a lot of reporting and if it's easier to use tabular format data in table formats rather than NoSQL. And it really depends on the project and what we need to do. Now, when we're doing stuff for clients, sometimes they will have their own requirements coming in, like they already have a Windows server and a lot of their codes are already in .NET, so we'll do something in .NET, or they might have like a backend in, um, in WordPress, so we'll do it in PHP, which, but my preference is always is Node and, and running on something like Heroku. So Heroku is probably my, my favorite cloud service, and we'll run a lot of stuff on that, mainly because it's so easy to deploy. You don't have to provision a server, you just have to set up the instance, and it's easy to set up the, you know, the, the dev instance and the staging test instance of when your clients are gonna use, because you never wanna have your clients testing on dev, because that's gonna go up and down, you're changing things, you know, the, your clients call you up and say, oh, I noticed that it's, it, it's crashed again, you know, it's because the developers are messing with stuff. So you always wanna have your, your staging or test environment, and then you have your production environment, which is after you go live, that's the thing you only change after you've done some thorough testing on your staging or dev environment. And sometimes staging, uh, their staging or testing environment, you might have multiple instances of that testing out different things at different stages of development. And the nice thing about Heroku is the free tier is really, is really good. So you, you like staging and testing, sorry, testing and development environment, there's always on the free tier. For our own stuff, a lot of times we'll use Firebase 2 because it's, you, know, you got cloud functions, you got the real-time database. My only concern about that is if Firebase ever disappeared for whatever reason, we would have to rewrite bits of code there. Uh, whereas if Heroku disappeared, we could just move everything over to Google Cloud Functions or to Azure, and it kind of worked the same thing because Node is a portable, or Express is a portable language and we just run the same Node version on those servers. When it comes to static content like images or JavaScript files like that are gonna be hosted in the web or, or web hosted files, if they're not dynamic, a lot of times we'll move those out of Firebase or out of Heroku and put them on something like Amazon S3 because the download costs are much cheaper on Amazon S3 uh, using uh, Amazon Web Services than they are on Heroku. So hopefully that helps a little bit there. We've In the past, we've used other services. We've used Azure. Uh, we've used um, we used Parse, but that's gone now. Or the we we'll use the open source version of Parse for some clients, which is still out there sometimes, but it is something to think about. But my preference, my personal preference is Heroku with Express, Node.js, and MongoDB backend, or occasionally we might use a MySQL backend, or MySQL database running on Amazon RDS or whatever, but just those are my favorites. So hopefully that helps a little bit, Dennis. So. I would like to ask everybody out there, what are your favorite cloud platforms for your back end? Uh, and what kind of things do you use? Do you use anything other than Firebase or AWS or Heroku? And uh, anyway, that is it for today. I'll talk to you guys again tomorrow.